Hello friends, welcome to MS Optic Webcast. In this video, we will go through the process of promoting additional domain controller but by using IFM installation from media options. So, let's talk about IFM. As an IT administrator, what happens when you get instruction from your superior that you need to deploy a new domain controller in a remote site? but your NTDS DIT file is over gigabytes of size and your WAN link is very slow. So, to solve this issue, we can always deploy the additional domain controller using the installation from media method that is known as a IFM. IFM will minimize the replication traffic during the installation because it is going to use restored backup files to populate the ADDS database. And this will significantly reduce the amount of traffic copied over the WAN link. So for this, uh, we have a scenario. For the next scenario, I have a primary domain controller with uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 with a static IP. And this is the our IP 192.168.49.10. Let's look at that. On server manager, to the IP. Okay. And for us, functional level and domain functional level are at Windows Server 2012 R2 mode. So now this is your scenario. In a previous videos, we see uh, how to create uh, sites and uh, define the subnets associated with uh, that particular sites. And now I have a main office, and in main office I have a srtfndc01.mylog.local and with this IP address. We want to deploy uh, additional domain controllers in our branch office, and that will be a server with srtfndc02, and this will be the IP configuration on that server. So let's set the IP configuration on that server. This is our uh, member server. Currently, IP version 4 address is assigned by DHCP, but you want to specify the specify the uh, static IP. Now let's specify the IP. Static IP, and that will be a 192.168.50.10 with default mask, and gateway will be 192.168. 50.1 and this time we are going to use the DNS server's IP as of 149.192.168.49.1 because that is the IP address of our okay sorry as 192.168.49.10 so we have to specify the DNS address prefer DNS address is 192.168.49.10 okay close and one more thing make sure both server have a network connectivity. So that's why I'm going to ping 192.168.49.10. Yeah, there's no problem. And let's check NS lookup as well. Okay, so we're ready. So for this installation process, we have to follow the simple three steps. First, on primary domain controller, and in case, in our case, that is SRTFNDC01. Create installation media by using ntdsutil.exe. In a second step, we'll add ADDS roles on a member server in a branch office one. And third step, we will select the installation from media options to configure a member server as a new domain controller while promoting a domain controller. So this will be the three steps. So in the first step, we are going to create a installation media file that is IFM media by using NDS util. So to do that, just open a command prompt. Okay. And now type NDS util. NDS util. Uh, let's make it bigger. Okay. Now type activate instance NDDS and it's successfully activated. Now type IFM. Okay. So if you want to take a help, you can take a help. Here is the all options. I'm going to create a separate partition where we can store our IFM file. So I'm going to specify the size 50 gig. So let's we have a probably E drive. Okay. And under E drive, I'm going to create 
new folder and um, that will be a IFA. Okay. So now here's the options which you want to use. Create sysol full. No, let's keep bigger. Property layout and width. I want to do. Okay. Now again, let's take the help. Okay, so now we have options. Create sysol full and uh, create sysol full no defragment. So that option will say create IFA media with sysol for a full ADDS into the folder and create IFA media with sysol and without defragmentation. So you want to use this create sysol full and then we will specify the location and in our case that will be E slash IFM. Okay. Let's go in for a defragmentation and that's done. So say IFM media created successfully in E drive IFM folders. So let's look at that. On E drive we have IFM and here's the active directory database, register settings and as well as syswall. So now next quit quit and close the command prompt. So now in a first step uh, we create IFM media. Now we copy the entire content from IFM folder to remove a drive because we are going to install additional domain controller at the remote branch office where network bandwidth is limited. So first you have to copy the IFM media from uh, this server and take it to your branch office and then insert the removable media over there and copy this all these IFM media files on our member server. In a second steps we are going to install ADDS role on a member server but uh, first we have to copy the entire content from IFM folder to our member server. So here we go on uh, our member server to install the ADDS role. Already I copied uh, the uh, IFM files from our uh, source domain that is our Surat domain to this member server and this is the uh, folder. So now uh, click on tools, sorry click on manage, click on add rules and features. Before you begin uh, console, click on next, select role based or feature based installation, click on next. We are installing this role on a local server and that is our SRDF and DC02. So click on next. Select Active Directory Domain Service and it will prompt you for you have to add additional features that is required by Active Directory Domain Service. Click on add feature. Click on next. On select features, leave the all these options to default values. Click on next. This is about the overview about Active Directory Domain Service. Click on next. Now, confirmation. Click on install. Once installation is completed, another step is required promoting this server to a domain controller. Okay, so when role is installed, you will get configuration is required, installation succeeded on SRTF and DC02. So click on promote this server to a domain controller. On deployment configuration box, uh, there will be a three options but we have to select add a domain controller to an existing domain and for case the domain will be mylab.local specify the user credential and that will be administrator at mylab.local and his password. Just click on OK. Click on Next. On the domain controller options page, ensure that uh, both DNS server and global catalogs selected. Now, see, here's the option, site name. According to the IP address of this server, site is selected. So this time, we have a 192.168.50.0 IP and uh, that is specified to a branch office and that's why this time you'll select site name as a branch office. So now specify the password for directory service restore mode. Just specify the password and hit on next. So on DNS options, click on next. 
Now, here is the additional options. On the additional options page, select the checkbox next to this. Install from media. And now browse the path where we store the installation from media files which we copied from our source server root domain controllers. Click on this and it will ask you for browse the folder. I just copied inside the C drive and IFM. So click on OK. Okay, so this will be the path C slash IFM. Done. You can also click on a verify. That will be verified. And now here's the options. Uh, specify the additional replication options. So we have a single domain controller. That's why I'm going to select srdfndc onemyrubcom So click on next. Leave the uh, database, log files, and sysvol path to default value. In next future videos, we'll see uh, how to change the path of database, Active Directory database. Click on next. Read the review options, which you selected, and uh, click on next. Once the prerequisites is checked successfully, then you can start the installation. As you are seeing, all prerequisites checks pass successfully. Now click on install to begin the installation. Once the installation process is complete, your server will automatically restart. So once computer restart, log into the domain controller. So finally, we deploy uh, our new additional domain controller by using IFM Media and uh, this will minimize the replication traffic during the installation this is the based options for a branch office scenario and where network bandwidth is limited so let's check active directory sites and service those who want to also check the replication between these two domain controllers and uh, if you see over here click on refresh under branch office we'll see there is a SRT DC tool but same things that is also available on this server. So coming back to this, uh, just right click on enter the settings, select all tasks, check replication, OK, and click on refresh. We'll get a link. Replicate now. OK, so that is automatically generated by KCC. And here is the same thing. All task, check replication topology. OK. Refresh. Still, you do not have a decide. So click on refresh. So still, it is not created. Come back on this. Our newly installed domain controllers and under branch office X1 servers, X1 SRT DC02, X1 NTES settings. Right click on it. Select all tasks. Check replication. Click on OK. Click on refresh and right click on automatic generated link. Select replicate now and as then. Okay, so it's working fine. Do the same thing for SRTDC01. Check replication topology. OK. Refresh and done. Let's check again on a this up. Now we have our application link and application is on the way. So this is the way how we can deploy additional domain controller by using IFM Media. Hope this will help you. Thanks for watching this video.